We made it. A wedding, a decade in the making. Watching you and Mark grow together over what feels like the last 100 years. This has brought me so much joy. The question was never how long they'd last, but rather how long I'd have to wait to give this speech. And it turns out it was kind of a long time. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Mark and Mayor, buckle up. It's my turn. Meredith is one of the absolute most funny people in the entire world. And she would do anything for anyone, as evidenced by her willingness to give up Zale for Fishgrim. In our family, Meredith has always been the funny one. She loves a good play on words. Hope you've all enjoyed the play on the fish word. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Meredith Page Fishgrund. <laughs> Doesn't that just roll off the tongue? Thank everybody from traveling near and far. I think it's kind of funny that we have like the Schlafers who walked here and the Schaefers from Vermont who had to fly all the way, but I had to drive through Independence Pass in a 15 passenger bus. We all made the effort because we know if they can make it through 10 years, certainly everybody can travel for a weekend and show our love and devotion. Thank you so much to everyone who's here. Me and Meredith, love you all so much. You know, we're so happy looking out in this room and seeing just all these people that we love. It's, it's just so amazing. The story of Mark and Mayer actually began with Robert Zale, who was the very first person Mark met when we visited UT when he was a high school senior. Everyone in this room can agree we would not be here tonight if it wasn't for me. <laughs> I met Mark before Meredith. I was the first person Mark met when he walked into ZBT. I gave Mark his bid. I used to get calls from him. Dude, you have to meet these legends. The sales run this town. First thing she ever said to Mark is, do you even know who my older brother is? <laughs> For the last 11 years, Mark has been my best friend. And while I may not remember how I met Mark, I'll never forget when Mark met Meredith. And I'll really never forget when Robert realized that Mark had met Meredith. <laughs> Meredith, the very first time I met you in Austin and we hit the bars on 6th Street, I learned a lot about you. In every bar and in the middle of the street, countless girls ran up to me to introduce themselves and explain that they were Meredith's BFF. I realized then that a big part of who you are is rooted in deep relationships with your friends. When I met your wonderful parents and grandparents and your brothers, I learned that your close-knit family means the world to you. Although I didn't get to meet Meredith until about year four of their relationship, I knew she was something special. She's kind, thoughtful, and most importantly, she makes my brother extremely happy. Now let's switch over to Fish. How lucky we are that Meredith ended up with a Texas ZBT president, member of the Lettuce Heads, and a Texas cowboy. How did Meredith end up with someone so cool? It was only fitting a short time 
after Meredith went to college, Mark grabbed her and never let her go. The more time I spent with Mark, the more I liked him. Mark's fun, funny, and smart. So when Meredith started dating him, it was a win-win. Mark, well before you started dating my sister, I've considered you my friend. I only have one sister. I'm very lucky she found you, even if it was in the ZBT basement. <laughs> and one faithful night at the ZBT house, <laughs> you met Meredith. And there was an instant connection that everybody saw. And it was truly love at first sight. When Mark met Meredith, something just perfectly fell into place. They were immediately obsessed with each other. And that spark developed from a true friendship into a deep love. Mark, when you finally proposed to Meredith, Everyone was there. Everyone was there. Family and friends. It was a beautiful culmination of a love story that was beshared. That was meant to be. Throughout her college years, Meredith didn't really let on how serious their relationship was. I think that we were the only two that didn't realize it. One day, she came to me and said, Mark is coming to Dallas to interview for a job. After that, we knew it was a done deal. about what kind of advice I could give you at this moment as my baby boy is on the eve of marrying the love of his life. I really cannot add to what you already know. You have always been wise beyond your years. From a brother's perspective, Mark is exactly what I want for my sister. He's extremely honest. He's always had Meredith's back. He's nice, he's caring, He's hardworking and compassionate. Mark, you've been in our family for a long time, but I'm happy to finally make it a fish. Be consecrated to me. With this ring. With this ring. As my wife. As my wife. <laughs> in keeping with the heritage. In keeping with the heritage. Of Moses and Israel. Of Moses and Israel. Be consecrated to me. With this ring. With this ring. As my husband. As my husband. In keeping with the heritage. <laughs> in keeping with the heritage. Of Moses and Israel. Of Moses and Israel. It really is so rare that you get to see two of your very best friends and two people that you love individually, apart from each other, marry one another. I may not remember exactly how it happened, but... I'm so happy that I met both of you. And I'm so, so happy that you met each other. Mark and Mayor, look around the room. Your friends, your parents' friends, the parents of your friends, and your loving family will continue to be your support system, ready to comfort you in difficult times and celebrate with you, especially this weekend. perfect balance for each other. Meredith is funny. Mark laughs at her jokes. Mark has a gift for numbers. Meredith is mathematically challenged. 
Meredith is extremely organized and efficient, while Mark has been known to miss a flight or two. Let's raise a glass to celebrate Mark and Meredith and wish them a lifetime of health, happiness, and excitement. Mark? You have felt like my husband from the day that I met you. I never needed any of this to marry you, but I'm happy I got it. Thanks, Dad. If you ever leave me, I'm coming with you. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything because she's the funny one. You look amazing tonight and I'm the luckiest person on earth. <laughs> <laughs>